Now, if you're a Fistick or Fi TV user, or really any of the Amazon devices, including the JVC TVs, you must have noticed that for some reason, every time your device starts, or just periodically on your device, it seems like you have a new notification. Now, I go to the notification, I click on that, and it says music, but I'm not running any music application or really any application because even when I restart my device, this comes up straight away. Lots of you did message me about this issue. I just didn't get a chance to look into this problem until today, but I do now have an easy fix that you can apply with one click, which will fix this issue across all of your Amazon devices. Now to apply the fix, if you open up the TDUK Unified Debloat Toolbox, let's click on that. I will go into this in just a second, but just to show you how easy the fix is, you want to now scroll down these Amazon processes, keep scrolling down, and you're looking for the process called com.amazon.device cell service so this is actually a process used for the recommendation engine but it also seems to cause this bug with the incorrect music notification so all you need to do is just press the select button we can see that's now ticked if i now go to the top or you can just press the right on the directional pad this will take you straight to the top and we can now see that the play button is highlighted i can now press the select button one click and this is basically saying that we are now disabling that service, which is causing that incorrect notification to appear. That's now done. I can now press the back button. Let's now go over to settings, go to notifications. And just like that, guys, we now have no more annoying incorrect notifications on our Amazon device. So, and the key thing is, even if I now restart my device by pressing the play and select buttons together for eight seconds, or maybe six seconds that will then restart my device and the reason why that was the key issue is people notice that even if they manually disable that notification or dismiss it the next time their device would restart that annoying notification would then once again come back but we can see in my device without any editing i've now just rebooted my fire tv cube we'll give that a second i'll then select my profile I'll go over to the settings and we'll see if this actually has fixed the problem or not because again the real issue was when you restarted your device. I click on my profile, I now give it a few seconds to load up in the background but if I go over to the settings, if I now click on notifications, time for a drum roll, is this going to work or not, one click and we have no notification. So let me now show you how you can get this TDUK Unified Debloat Toolbox on all of your devices. Let's now press the home key. Let's go over to settings, go to MyFi TV, click on developer options, and where it says install unknown apps, just make sure downloader is set to on. And this just means that we can download applications through downloader and install them. Let's now press the home key and let's now open up Downloader. Inside Downloader, we can type in a direct code, which will take us to the page which has the unified Debloat toolbox. So let's type in the code 295427 and click on Go. And just while you're waiting, guys, if you do want to see more tips and tricks, more tutorials, more streaming applications for all of your Amazon and Android TV devices, then please do take a moment to hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed for all future updates. Okay, let's scroll down. I mean, this would be uh, an update video in itself, just talking about the Diplo toolbox. I mean, Amazon have made so many changes since I made the original toolbox. Lots of things that we could previously disable, like the ability to block updates, the ability to disable your home screen launcher or the stock launcher. All of that has been blocked now by Amazon. But this, for example, we can still use. So if we scroll down, but there are still many processes that if you want to, you can still disable on your device just to free up that memory and also reduce things running in the background. Keep scrolling down and you're looking for a single link to the unified Diplo toolbox. So let's click on that and you're looking for this green download button. So click on that, install that onto your device and before you open up the toolbox, 
just make sure that you do have ADB debugging enabled. So back into my Fire TV, developer options, and we can see on my device, ADB debugging is on. Once we've confirmed that, let's now press the home key and we can now start up the TD UK Unified Deploy Toolbox. So let's press the select button on that. Now here for example, we can see many of these processes that are running in the background. And if you want to, you can potentially disable them by pressing the select button on them. Now I don't wanna go through a big list now of the processes because I have covered this before in older videos, but for a super quick test, for example, if I turn off this IMDB TV, let's click on that, that's now ticked. If I now press the right on the directional pad, just so I can get quickly to the top. If I press the select button, that should now have disabled IMDB TV, which in fact is Amazon Freevee. If I now press the home button, I'm not sure if this is still going to work, but let's just try. If I now find Freevee in the list, let's click on that. Let's click on open we can see it doesn't open. So let's try that one more time. Because we disable that background process that Freebie needs, that means this application can now no longer run on my device. So we have less things running in the background. We have more memory available, which in turn means we should have a much faster running Amazon device. Let's now press the home button. So you can see guys, very, very easy to use. You can do everything with one click. Let's go down. So for the people interested in just fixing the music notification, again, the process that you want to disable is this one here. So com.amazon device cell service. And you know that a process is disabled is when it has a tick. So if I press the back button to exit from the application, when I now go back in, anything that's ticked now, it means that it's still disabled. So scrolling down, we can see the first thing that's ticked is IMDB TV, which is freebie and keep going down. And the other thing that's ticked, which is disabled, is the device cell service, which fixes that notification bug. Now for a super quick test, if I want to enable Freevee again, because let's say I want to start using the application, let's go back to the top. Let's now tick this. So again, when things are unticked, it means they're enabled, but you have to tick it. You have to go to the top or just press the right on the directional pad and you want to press select on the play button there. And this basically applies the change. So let's press the select button. So in theory, now the freebie process should be enabled. I can now press the home button. And if I now want to start freebie again, just to show you how easy it is to disable and enable processes, I can click on that. And this time we go straight into the application. So super easy to use you can now quickly disable or enable processes that you're not using anymore. But the main part of this video was how we can easily fix this notification thing across all of their devices. And before you go, guys, let me just share a super quick, very special offer from IPVanish where you can get complete protection for unlimited devices, your phones, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, Windows PCs, every device covered at maximum speed, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, hide your online activity, all of that for just over $3 a month. I definitely think it's worthwhile checking out. So if you are interested, do have a look in the video description and the pinned comment to take advantage of this special offer, which is just for the next one or two weeks. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below if you found the fix for that notification useful, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.